Hey guys, New Jersey Piper Ben here. I was about to go to bed last night and a notification popped up on my YouTube app. And somebody had commented on a video I did five months ago when I had like 14 subscribers maybe <laughs> at the most. Uh, it was a long time ago and uh, I, would, I had been literally smoking a pipe for probably no longer than a month, I would say. But uh, this particular commenter said, you should do reviews shirtless. And I hearted the comment and I replied, hard pass. <laughs> now, I don't know if this was a, uh, a joke or if they were serious or not. They didn't really elaborate, but uh, either way, yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Because uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Nobody wants that. Nobody in the YTPC wants that. The person that commented doesn't want that. I'm a, I'm a big bowl of jello, baby. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so the video, the video was uh, for Cornell, Cornell and Deal's Dreams of Kadath. And uh, so I was finishing up work today i'm like i want to have some tobacco i want to smoke a bowl uh maybe i'll revisit that since that 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 commenter put that uh that video and that blend sort of fresh in my head and i did watch the video out of uh, morbid curiosity to see you know what was going on in my head back then uh and just to correct a couple of things i i, I said in the video uh being a rookie and all i, I think i use the term cake and plug synonymously and those are two different things. Um, a cake would most likely be attached to the to the fr to the term crumble cake, um, and I view a crumble cake as something that can be broken apart fairly easily with your fingers, and normally comprised of uh, already ribbon cut Virginias or at least some sort of cut of tobacco um, that. Yeah, you know, again, will be can be broken apart, and processed easily with your fingers. A plug is like just flat leaves, um, commingled and mashed together into a into a block, um, and those you can't break apart with your fingers very easily. And even if you could, you still need to cut it because it's got um, again, it's it's just flat leaves. It's not cut in any way. So it's just pressed leaves. So when you slice off the edge of it, it kind of you're kind of doing your own sort of ribbon slash shag cut of it, and then you break it up with your fingers and let it dry. Because again, plugs plugs are going to hold moisture um, fairly well. So um, I had to ha again been six months since I bought this tin, and uh, it still had a I haven't put it in a jar or anything. I've kept it in the Corner Island Deal tin. And it still had a decent bit of moisture, um, but it did dry out pretty nicely in about 20 or 30 minutes. So I've got it in my um, Savinelli 122 uh, Sterling Spigot. One of my favorite pipes. Let's go for a uh, chart here real quick. And another quick correction or clarification, at least in my original video, I referred to this. I referred to this as an English blend. I don't think that's necessarily true. I'm going to explain my reasoning. This has everything except Latakia. <laughs> Basically, it's got uh, dark fired Kentucky, Cavendish, Virginia, 
Orientals, Perique, and something called Katerini, which I've learned is a, uh, a Greek Turkish leaf, I believe. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think to be in English, you do you have to have a lot of Kia to be an English blend? That seems to be the common thread amongst English blends, right? So, I don't... This is not called, it's not referred to as an English blend on tobacco reviews. It's just says Virginia based. So, uh. so did just want to mention that quickly. And the uh, tendon on this stuff is like super, super strong note of a uh, dark fruit. Raisins, figs, plums, all that fun stuff. Uh, spice on the retro for sure. Not delicate, Gene. I don't even know if he's going to see this, but uh, Jean, Jean Panzer was busting my balls because I referred to the retro on Cabby's mixture as delicate. And I, uh, <laughs> I replied to him, I'm like, effortless? Is that better? Because, you know, basically when you do a retro, you can kind of feel some spice, spice in your nostrils. Perique causes that commonly because Perique is spicy. A little bit of spice on this retro for sure. And relative to the tin note, again, which is very sweet top note, dark fruit, um, all that fun stuff. Again, uh, relative to the tin note, flavor profile, I'm not picking up a lot of sweetness on this. Maybe a tiny little bit in the background, but definitely not anywhere close to some of the more, some of the other Virginia based blends I've been having recently. <sighs> Maybe that's the fault of the old dark fired. I don't know. But again, relative to the 10 note, the flavor profile seems to be uh, quite a bit different or surprising at least. Uh, tin note of the cabbies mixture uh, with the flavor profile that made sense to me. Tin note with smoking pipes 20th anniversary flake. Tin note versus that and the flavor profile made sense to me. Those are both both have some nice inherent sweetness, some nice citrus going on. This one I'm not getting any dark fruit on the flavoring. But it's good though. Even though it's not sweet, which I'm, I like a little bit of sweetness in my blends. Not overtly sweet, unless I'm expecting it, like, you know, Sutliff Creme Brulee or something, but, you know. Something like this, you don't want to get hit over the head, get, get hit over the head with it. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Again, just thought that comment was hilarious. Uh, just sparks an idea in my head for a nice follow-up video. Um, I would just say take a look at the flavor components, uh, or the sorry, the tobacco components of this blend. Um, take a look at the picture uh, I, I posted as the uh, as the thumbnail. You can kind of see some of the components broken up after I chopped up the uh, plug 
understand it's a plug if you don't like dealing with plugs or if you don't want to have to deal with plugs that's fine but in general this is a good blend it's a good blend okay i'm gonna cut myself off before i start rambling again you guys take care